Good morning, it's Wednesday, January 10th, about 6 a.m. Central Time. Over at the Precious Metals are higher after yesterday's kind of softer session. You got February gold up $7 at 2040. March silver up five cents, 2314. March copper up two at 378. That really took it on the chin here yesterday. And then also April platinum, that also took it on the chin, down three bucks at 940. So looking at the precious metals here, a couple things going on. We're really, we're kind of dead in the water. We've got the ETF holdings, those are at one of the lowest levels, and you've got futures net longs, those are at one of the highest levels here. So it seems to be kind of a stalemate. I think that the market is looking for more guidance as far as interest rate cuts, dollar direction, treasury yields, you know, the, the conflict over in the Middle East and what's going on with the Red Sea and things like that, it seems to be still, they perceive it as isolated. So you're not getting any kind of real geopolitical threats here. Now we did see crude oil futures kind of bump up here, just a touch here, but really it was the prospects of, will Saudi Arabia cut, will Russia cut, things like that. The demand, if you do get that softer uh, landing, you might see a small pickup here. So I think that a lot of these different markets here are kind of in this wait and see anchor type trading environment. So. Do not confuse, though, that the market, the volatilities come out, that volatility might come back, and it might be in the direction that you don't want. So you definitely don't want to let your guard down at all. This is really when the market goes in these kind of quiet periods. It's when you get that first week in January, a lot of volatility, craziness, people are repositioning, things like that. And then you kind of, this is kind of the, the hangover effect, the second week of January. I've seen this a million times. So looking at the uh, CME's Fed Watch tool, you got a 64 and percent chance that's an uptick here from yesterday 60 percent chance that the fed will cut rates 25 basis points at that march meeting it's march 20th is when it happens so looking at some other news out here something i really found that was kind of interesting was that uh uh yesterday the x or twitter account of the sec was hacked and it had posted that the bitcoin etf was approved now instead of addressing the fact that um, that the account was hacked, that they didn't have a two-factor authentication, they were only using a phone number, it was some generic phone number or whatever. Um, they spun it against Twitter and they said that this is the reason why Twitter's bad or X is bad and um, and it's uh, it spreads fake news. So I kind of thought that was funny, the way that the, uh, the media had uh, spun it against Elon Musk and things like that. Now I did read an interesting report on Bitcoin and Ethereum here yesterday, it was this uh, put out by the Standard Chartered, uh, it's this global research on di digital assets, and it was kind of interesting. They said that the U.S. and Exchange Commission is expected to approve the ETF for Bitcoin this week, and that ETF's approval will be the key driver for Bitcoin prices, um, and they say that Bitcoin is on track for 100000 by the end of 2024, and they actually go into, if things really materialize, that it could be 200,000 by the end of 2025. And it's kind of an interesting and a really good, good read as far as the fact that they look at how GLD, how there was not a gold-backed ETF, and then once that became approved, they look at how much um, inflows it got, what kind of expansion it had, and then they go on and they start making the case for Ethereum as well, and they compare Ethereum like the SLV backed as its gold sister is is silver, and then Bitcoin sister is Ethereum. They don't give a price target on Ethereum, but if you look at an Ethereum chart, it's got a nice move up, consolidates, looks like it could be breaking out to the upside. Now getting off the cryptocurrency, and just so you know, we do trade cryptocurrency futures. They do have a micro Bitcoin, micro Ether. They've got a large Bitcoin, which in my opinion is too big. And then the uh, the Ethereum as well, they do have a large contract. So looking at some things that are coming out here today, you do have wholesale inventories at 730. That's the November final uh, expected down 0.2%. That's I don't think that's gonna be a market mover. But later in the afternoon, this is 2.15 Central, you have New York Fed President Williams. He's an FOMC voter. He speaks, and it's at a 2024 economic uh, outlook here. And the interesting thing is if you go back to December 15th, he said that, Williams said, we aren't really talking about rate cuts now. I just think it's premature to even think about that. So you could tell his stance. He's a bit of a hawk. 
he's going to hold out longer. So expect some hawkish rhetoric. It's very important if you're going to trade around Fed speakers to look at their previous uh, engagement and how they they displayed or projected their ideas. If they're a hawk, if they're a, 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 you know they're dovish, whatever, you could kind of get a gauge or a sense as far as what the market may do as a result of them speaking. So looking at gold and silver here, silver kind of holding this 23 level, a dip below it, 22.95 was the low, high was 23.29. I think that it's anchored here. I don't put a whole lot of uh, hope into the support. We are testing this, this low here from December, which was about, 2285 or so that was kind of the low a few days ago so you know keep an eye on that as your critical level support below that's going to be the november lows and also the october lows so just pull up a chart circle those levels and those are going to be your key levels of support going into the gold market gold's a bit flatter on the curve 2229s 50 day moving average 20 2014 is the 200 day moving average and then if you look at kind of where these markets are positioned i use kind of a uh, uh system that's very similar to like a turtle trading system as far as a breakout uh there is a book it's called the way of the turtle if you read that it'll give you kind of a guideline as far as how to trade in the how to how to build a model around that but uh looking at copper there they, it's bearish trade Gold is uh, a bullish trade. Silver is a bearish trade right now. Platinum is a neutral trade. So you got any questions, give me a call. It's running a little bit long here. Kind of went on a tangent about that uh, that, that beat Bitcoin. But uh, you got any questions, give me a call. 312-858-7303. Remember, futures option trading involves risk of loss. May not be suitable to all investors. Good luck. Good trading.